In this video, we're going to look at how you might be able to give visibility to organizations on how their learners are progressing through your courses. So this might be something they're quite keen on given that an organization is working with you. They might want to see how all of the learners from their organization are progressing through it. And what you probably find is that you have key stakeholders at an organization. They might be trainers or managers, and you would give their account specific access to be able to see everyone in their organization. So there are a few set steps to setting this up. Firstly, we need to look at something that LearnDash has, which is a group leader level of access. So we're going to go to users and find the list of users within your site, head over to a particular user. So I'll just choose this person at the top here. And if we scroll down to role here, what you'll find is that depending on your setup, there are a number of different roles people can have in your system. More often than not, a normal learner on your system will probably be a subscriber. But LearnDash brings in a separate role here called group leader. And this is intended for someone within a group who would be able to see um, and maybe have some control over the, the group itself. So I'm going to change this person here to a group leader. And I'm going to scroll down here and then just click update user. Now, if we head to learn dash groups, what we'll find is that we created this home tech December 2022 group. It's got 52 users in it. The group has access to three courses, but it's got no leaders yet. So what we're going to do is add that user that we just created there, or, uh, you know, change the role of there as a group leader of this group. So what we're going to do is click into it, head over to the users tab here. And at the top, we see the standard group users. And these are all, as you remember, fictitious accounts that we imported or created via registration forms. If we scroll down beneath that, We've got group leaders, and this will give you a list of anyone who's been given the role of group leader or any of your site's admins. So you can see I'm in here as well. But this was the one that we gave access to. And what I'm going to do there is just make them an assigned group leader of this group and then click update. So that's the first step done. What we've done is made this person here a kind of stakeholder for this organization who can now see the other learners in there and how far they are along. In a separate tab here, I'm logged in as that user. And I can see that yeah, I still have access to the courses. But what I'm going to add now as part of the rest of this uh, video is an option in the dashboard that would allow them to view the other learners in the group and how, how far they are along in their courses. When you first install the organization toolkit, it will create a page for you as part of your platform. So if we head to your normal WordPress pages, <clears throat> what it will do is create this one here called client dashboard, which at the moment is set as a draft. I'm going to click into it. And it ultimately it's, a, it's what's called a short code. So anyone who understands WordPress would know what this is, but it's essentially a, a snippet of code that you can use to display something on any given page. As the system administrator here, I'm going to publish this page. And now we have a client dashboard available within the page. And I can now click view page to, to see it here. And uh, what we're going to do quickly here is just add it to a menu of the site. So I'll just show you how, how to quickly do that. It's entirely up to you where you want this page to appear and you might not want it to appear in any menus, but if you did, you can head over to new, um, the demo learning platform or the, the title of your course and then menus. It also appears on the left hand side once you're in the dashboard under appearance and then menus. And you'll see a list of the items that are currently in the menu. So we've got home, all courses, about and contact, which are those ones here. 
I'm going to add a new one here. And on the left hand side here, I can see client dashboard there. I'm just going to add that to the menu as well. And then I'm going to click save. As my group leader account here in the separate window, I'm going to refresh and I can see, I now have this option for a client dashboard. I'm going to click into it. And as a, um, a, a group leader, I would get a list here of any groups that I'm given access to as a group leader. So at the moment, my current account only has access to one, which was the home tech December 2022 group. But equally, you could give a group leader access to 50 groups and they would all appear in a list there. And the, the group leader could then click into it and see a list of the users on in within this group and see how far they are along in their courses. So let's take a look at one of the people. So to start with, we'll, we'll, you can see here that the number of people registered in the group, you've got the option to search, which we'll come back to shortly. But it's a paginated list. So it's paginated into you know, 20, lists of, of 20, pages of 25 users. And we've got three pages of these you can see here. But if you have more than 25 at the bottom, you would have access here to um, go to, to new pages. So essentially what you've got here is a list of all of the users on in this group. And we can see here, one of the users here has made some progress on their course. We can see all of the courses that they've been registered onto, along with their progress, uh, you know, percentage progress through the course. We can see when they first registered, as well as when they last logged in and the number of times they've logged in. So you can see if someone's logged in you know, 10, 15, 20 times, that would appear here. We've also got the option here uh, to email this user. And if we clicked that, it would open our local email client and allow us to contact that person. So say, for example, you wanted to chase up one of these people who hasn't started yet, or someone who's never logged in, you would be able to do that just by clicking this email option here, as would the, the group leader. So this now gives the group leader or this key stakeholder from their organization a good snapshot of what progress has been made. And it's not a massively detailed report. It doesn't go right into granular detail about quiz scores or anything like that, but it just serves as a good overview of general progress. And if we were to look for a specific user, for example, if I wanted to find this person, all we need to do is search for them by their email address, which I'm going to paste in here and then click search. So if you've got a list of a lot of users, doing this would then you know, help to, to narrow this list down and you can find specific users. And the client dashboard isn't just useful for group leaders and members of organizations. You as an admin can also use this. Um, but the difference being here that as an admin, you would automatically have access to all groups in the platform regardless of if you're set as a group leader. So a system admin would be able to see groups across all organizations and like the group leader of any of these can click into them, find the users and see how far they are progressing through their courses. So it's a nice snapshot for any organization to be able to see how their learners are engaging with your course content. 